When you think of power couples, one that definitely comes to mind is Jay-Z and Beyonce. The two have been married for over a decade now and combined their successful hip-hop careers to form quite the legacy. Beyonce is one of the world's best-selling music artists and is the most nominated woman in the Grammy Awards history thus far, with a total of 19 wins. She's a singer, songwriter, record producer, actress, and let's not forget mom of three. At the time of this recording, she's 38 years old and has a beautiful family with her man Jay-Z. Jay-Z on the other hand, born Sean Corey Carter, is 50 at the moment, but he doesn't look a day over 40. Of course, he's also hip-hop royalty and regarded as one of the greatest rappers of all time. Like his wife, he's won a ton of Grammy Awards, 22 in fact, which is the most for a rap artist. If that's not enough, Jay-Z was named the first ever hip-hop billionaire. Aside from Jay-Z's music career, he's found a ton of success as an entrepreneur, producer, and record executive. He's had multiple million dollar business ventures, including his clothing line Rockaware, and is also known for being the CEO of Def Jam, where at the time he put Rihanna on as a new talent. Just reviewing both Beyonce and Jay-Z's accomplishments, you already know the two have built a crazy empire. Apparently, Jay-Z is the main breadwinner in this couple, but Beyonce still brings $355 million to the table. Together, they're worth an estimated $1.35 billion. With that kind of bank, Jay-Z and Beyonce have been able to live in any mansions they want, whether it was renting or buying properties over the years. The couple's main house in Bel Air cost them a humble $88 million US dollars, and it's not the only real estate they own. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Some of you guys requested this video, so today we're going to be looking at Jay-Z and Beyonce's homes, including their mega mansion in Bel Air. I'll also give you the details on where they used to live and other properties the couple owns. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on Cardi B and Offset's new mansion and Rihanna's homes and we'll have links to those at the end of this. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose homes you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Let's start with where Beyonce and Jay-Z grew up just to get a little background. Before Jay-Z was one of the biggest names in hip-hop history, Sean Carter grew up in less than lavish situation. He grew up in Brooklyn's Marcy Houses, which was in a pretty rough area. According to Jay-Z, his humble beginnings helped shape him and he constantly shouts out his old hood in his work. Beyonce, on the other hand, lived pretty comfortably in the suburbs. She grew up in Houston, Texas in the historic Third Ward area on Parkwood Drive. The columns and driveway on her childhood house make the place look picture perfect. So let's fast forward to when Beyonce and Jay-Z joined forces. After the two got hitched, they bought a Miami Beach mansion, which was part of Indian Creek Village, an exclusive pricey island in Biscayne Bay. This spot had seven beds and eight baths, but the couple didn't stay here too long. They sold it for 9.3 mil in 2010. Beyonce and Jay-Z also own a fancy looking property in Beyonce's hometown, Houston, Texas, but apparently they bought it for Bay's mom. The couple spent about six million on this place, but it definitely looks like money well spent. The Houston mansion is 25,000 square feet and has eight bedrooms, 12 bathrooms, and four kitchens. The home is European style and has one of a kind architecture, even stained glass windows and painted ceilings. It looks like somewhere a queen would live, so I assume Beyonce's mom has been more than happy here. One of the more unique houses on Beyonce and Jay-Z's real estate portfolio has got to be the church they bought in New Orleans. In 2015, the couple got this historic church in the Garden District of New Orleans that was converted into a mansion. It was originally built back in 1925, but since its transformation, it looks completely different, of course. It's over 13,000 square feet and is made up of four distinct living spaces, including a main home and three smaller apartments that are spread over three stories. Beyonce and Jay-Z's New Orleans mansion has 22 rooms in total, including seven beds and eight baths. There's also a step-up dining room, a loft-style sitting room, and a library. Not to mention the historic house has 26-foot ceilings, floor-to-ceiling pillars, and 
and arched windows. Moving on, you already know the power couple has to have some real estate in the Big Apple, especially since it's Jay-Z's hometown. Beyonce and Jay-Z purchased a penthouse in the Tribeca area of NYC back in 2004 that served as the couple's primary residence for quite some time. They spent around 6.8 mil on this apartment, which is 8,000 square feet, and occupies the entire seventh floor of the building. Their Tribeca condo would also serve as the place Beyonce and Jay-Z tied the knot in a private ceremony back in 2008. We know that Beyonce also sold an additional NYC condo back in 2017 that the couple used to house guests and visitors. This apartment was 2,669 square feet and had three bedrooms with ensuite bathrooms, as well as high 11-foot ceilings. But as Jay-Z and Beyonce plan to spend less time in NYC and more time at their newer properties, which I'll show you in a sec, the couple didn't really need this condo anymore. They sold the place for just under 10 mil and whoever could afford it also got some amazing views of New York City. Jay-Z and Beyonce had their sights set on the Hamptons for a while. After renting vacation homes there a couple times, they finally bought their own estate in 2017 known as Pond House. The Hamptons is famously known as a rich vacation spot located on the east end of Long Island. It's a group of seaside communities reserved for the wealthy and affluent New Yorkers, and Beyonce and Jay-Z fit the bill of course. The pair rented a spot in the Hamptons back in 2012 called the Sandcastle and they spent 400 k to stay there for the month of August alone. Beyonce and Jay-Z would rent a second home here to follow, upping it to 500 k a month. And finally, they found a Hamptons family home they wanted to purchase for good. Jay-Z and Beyonce settled for Pond House, which cost them just under 26 mil to buy. Their mansion in the Hamptons sits on two acres of land with 203 feet of direct waterfront. The main house has seven beds and nine baths, and there's an additional 1,800 square foot guest cottage, complete with two beds, one bath, a living room, and kitchen. Jay-Z and Beyonce's Hampton estate underwent serious renovations before they bought it too. Jeffrey Cole was in charge of the renos, and he even rotated the house 90 degrees just so the living room could face the water. Outside, there's an infinity edge pool and spa on the pond side of the property, as well as an outdoor grilling area. Pretty sure Beyonce and Jay-Z can have their entire family here for a vacation considering how big the Hamptons estate is. Finally, for Jay-Z and Beyonce's main mansion and family home, let's take a look at their Bel Air mansion. It was reported that the couple paid $120 million for the home or at least offered that much against the $135 million asking price. But in the end, they got an off-market deal which came out to $88 million for the home. Don't let the word deal fool you though. The amount that the power couple paid was still the sixth highest price ever paid for a single family home in LA at the time. As you probably know, Bel Air is an area on the west side of LA by the Santa Monica Mountains that's very popular among celebs. So all the homes here are well in the multi-million dollar ballpark. So what did 88 mil get Jay-Z and Beyonce? Well, essentially a compound. Their Bel Air home is made up of six glass-walled buildings with around 30,000 square feet of living space along with 8 beds and 11 baths. It is on almost two hillside acres of land and is kept totally private behind massive iron gates. Beyonce and Jay-Z's mega mansion was designed by the architect Paul McLean and he recreated the property to be ultra modern. It's a three-story residence complete with a giant circular staircase that looks like a work of art. Not to mention there are bulletproof floor-to-ceiling windows throughout the house that open with the touch of a button. Other features of their family mansion include a home movie theater, multiple kitchen and living spaces, and separate staff quarters. Looking outside at the additional 10,000 square feet of living space, there are four pools, a 15 car garage, a full size basketball court, a spa and wellness center, and more. Each one of the four pools provides a different and beautiful view, but the one perched on the roof probably has the best. And some say that the huge white space on the top of the home is a helipad, but if it is, I'm not sure how often that gets used. Although Jay-Z and Beyonce's family home in Bel Air might seem over the top, especially since it was the most expensive sale in all of LA in 2017 when they purchased, it's well deserved. A pair as successful as Beyonce and Jay-Z deserve a trophy house like that, and it really shows you how much the power couple has accomplished. Personally, it's a little bit too big and modern for my liking, but I'm sure since they got it, they've made it feel more like a family home and added some personal touches. From the house Bay got her mom in Houston, their renovated church in New Orleans that's now a home, their Tribeca penthouse, and their house in the Hamptons, the list is endless. Which one of their spots did you guys like the best? I personally like their Hamptons mansion. 
Okay guys, now I'll be reading out some of your comments from previous videos. On our recent Adele before and after video, Bunberto's fan commented saying, Adele looks awesome. I'm positive she feels great and is being healthy. I'm hoping her weight loss is due to new eating habits and not a flyby diet. People need to understand healthy weight loss can be forever. Overnight weight loss is temporary. Keep it up, Adele, you look great. Also on the same Adele video, Dolores Not Lolita said, She's always been beautiful and talented, so as long as she's happy and healthy, there shouldn't be an issue. I agree that she looks great and that she's healthy and happy is all that matters, not what the tabloids say. And finally, on our Rihanna house tour vid, Snow White said, Miss Boss Beauty Queen always has great taste in everything she does. We love our queen sis. Alright guys, that's all I got on Beyonce and Jay-Z's real estate, including their $88 million family home.